So you've done all you can to prevent guerrilla situations from happening and you've done all your stage work. Now we are ready to move in front of a console. As we have done with stage inputs, uh, we have to consider everything that we do with the same mantra. Simplicity is key. So let's see some of the strategies for simplifying our console setup. The first thing I do when I start Gorilla Mixing Situations is actually approach the output section and take care of my main bus. Uh, I always set up matrices and I take care of the monitor outputs or the mix buses, whatever you want to call them. I always, always route matrices. The reason being uh, that actually helps me uh, create a situation where I can then leave my main bus um, for sound shaping or sound toning. Uh, but for system tuning, I use the EQs of the matrices. Uh, that just gives me one additional tool that I can work with, but also frees my mind in terms of what I'm doing on my main bus. Um, it's also very, very helpful if you have somebody just coming up to you last minute and saying, I need another stereo output for uh, maybe this video recorder that is out there or uh, the stream that is going on. Um, it's much easier to route another matrix out uh, and you know that um, whatever you have done to the system, EQ will not affect the output that is going out to the recording side. So I always route my matrices, I take care of my main bus, and I take care of the monitors, just in terms of making sure that everything is routed correctly and that I have access to all of my outputs when I need them to. Once I have dealt with the outputs, I can then move on to the inputs, and I'm using the same mentality as in the section, do I need that input? Uh, well, we are doing that on stage, we were thinking about how to simplify our setup and the same mentality approach goes to the input side of the console setup. Um, I always, however, make at least one spare channel for a lead vocal. And that is something that I also do during my stage work. So I would have a lead vocal and I would have a lead spare microphone just lying on the ground, already connected. In case something goes wrong, that's your money maker, right? The lead vocal is something that has to go on no matter what. So having that one spare channel is the only thing that I usually double up or uh, think about in uh, terms of redundancy. Um, so I set up everything in a minimal fashion but have just that one special uh, spare lead vocal mic attached. The third way of thinking about simplifying things is just making sure that the signal path from the input to the output is as short as possible. In gorilla mixing situations, I tend to leave away everything in terms of parallel compression, group routing, and stuff like that. I'm just trying to ensure that whatever is coming from the stage hits my console on the input side and then leaves the console with as little signal routing as possible. So the inputs get patched to the main bus and then leave the console uh, through the matrices to the speaker system. That's it. I don't want any additional parallel processing or grouping or whatever that might trick my mind or demand an additional step of programming, uh, EQing, dynamics in between. One caveat to working really fast in these guerrilla mixing situations when you're doing console preparation is just focusing on the inputs that are coming from the station on your input list, but then forgetting about the stuff that you will actually need to do your work. And I'm talking about additional channels like playback channels, um, pink noise channels, DCAs, uh, recording channels, uh, recording setup and routing and stuff like that. So one key thing to remember is while you are laying out your console, make sure that you're not only focusing on the inputs from the stage, but also on all additional channels that you will need to make the show happen. I've mentioned before that I tend to route all of my channels in a one-to-one -one patch situation. So the channel one from the stage is going to be the channel number one on my input side on the console. However, the most convenient patching can sometimes be dictated by the console itself. When you're doing patching and routing, just consider the limitations of the console. So sometimes you will have a stereo pair that can only be linked between uh, even and odd numbered channels. Or when you consider the 
fader bank layout. They can be laid out in eight channels, 10 channels, 12 channels. Just make sure that you realize what is on the same page and on the same bank and route accordingly. It might deviate slightly from the one-to-one -one patch, but just consider what makes the most sense and then do it that way without actually going into elaborate patching situations between different layers and different banks. Just making sure that you know how your console behaves can be a lifesaver. That is also something that you can consider or you should consider while you are doing your patching on stage. The one thing that I always set up while I'm preparing for Gorilla Mixing situations are also DCAs. DCAs allow me to control several channels with one fader and that is extremely helpful in situations when you're trying to be extremely fast and extremely accurate. Plus, we're going to need it for my two-handed mixing technique later on down the line. So I'm just trying to uh, make sure that we are on the same page here. While you're doing the console prep uh, stage of your Gorilla Mixing situation, just make sure that the DCAs are available and are ready to patch um, different channels to different DCA faders. A quick recap of this lesson would be that the key is defining the bare elements or the bare minimum of your work and not forgetting any crucial elements and then laying them all out in a simplified fashion on your console. That is the entire uh, logic behind uh, the strategy of simplifying things and making sure uh, that your work is going to be fast and efficient. In the next video, we will talk about the advantages of digital consoles in guerrilla mixing situations and how to use all of their uh, functionalities to your advantage.